You've just got a parking eye parking ticket. Ignore it and things could get a lot worse. The last thing you want is a county court judgment or a debt collector coming banging on your door. But that doesn't mean you have to pay it instantly. Successfully appealing a fine isn't nearly as hard as many people imagine. I'll show you how. Now simply ignoring your ticket could see you receiving letters and calls and if things really escalated, a county court judgment. I've researched these and they are really serious. They impact your credit rating, making getting credit and mortgages harder in the future. Your parking eye parking letter will likely be accusing you of some heinous crime, like parking two inches over a white line or staying two minutes too long. The reality is there's a 10 minute grace period for car parks, which might work in your favor. If you believe the ticket was wrongly issued, say you were within that grace period, then your first port of call should be to go and speak with the facility manager who might be able to have the ticket canceled for you. If that fails and you still think the parking ticket is unfair, say a genuine emergency or a vehicle breakdown prevented you from leaving the car park on time, then that might give you good grounds for an appeal. Additionally, parking eye are obligated to make their parking rules clear. If you feel that their signposting was unfairly poor, then strengthening your appeal by going back to the scene of the crime and snapping a few supporting photos is certainly not a waste of time. Be sure to follow the appeals procedure on the ticket as soon as possible. The quicker you get an appeal filed, the sooner the problem can be resolved. But you need a fair time to prepare any appeal. If Parking Eye didn't get their letter to you within 14 days, then it's not at all unreasonable to ask for some extra time. Writing an appeal letter can seem daunting. It's hard to be totally sure what to say. A popular option is to consult a solicitor who can help to make your appeal airtight. There's many online solicitors that work out cheaper and easier than meeting in person. Just Answer, for example, only costs £5 for a trial. I know a guy who did this and saved £271 on his ticket doing just this. I've linked that offer in the description and if you use it you'll also be supporting Money Nerd, so thank you.